Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will help you learn more about referencing variables. We're going to cover variable substitution, how to create and use composite variables, and the benefits of variable binding. If you're new to Octopus Deploy, be sure to check out our earlier Getting Started video that covers the basics of defining, scoping, and using variables by clicking the link that just appeared in the upper right hand corner of this video. Let's get started. Variable substitution in Octopus Deploy allows complex variables to be created from a combination of simpler variables. You can often tame the number and complexity of your variables by breaking them down into discrete parts and combining them together. Let's take a look at how this all works. In this scenario, we want to be able to query our SQL Server instance as part of a new feature we're adding to this deployment process. Now to connect to our database, we're going to need to use a connection string. Let's head over to the variables page of our Hello World project and create a new connection string variable with the correct value. A connection string is a combination of multiple fields. In our case, it's the instance name, database name, username, and password. We've created our new variable, but you can see a major problem with it. The password is visible in plain text for anyone to see, which is a clear security issue. So how can we fix this? Now we can't just change this variable type to be sensitive because we wouldn't be able to see its value or easily debug it if we run into a deployment issue. The solution is to use Octopus's variable substitution syntax. So let's go ahead and fix this security issue. We're going to start by creating a new variable for our database password. Let's name it hello world.database.password. Since we want to keep our passwords private, we'll start by changing the variable type to sensitive. Next, we'll enter the password and click add to list. Let's head back and take another look at our connection string value. Now that we've defined our password separately, we can leverage the ability to reference a variable from within the value of another variable. Instead of having our password here, we can tell Octopus to evaluate our connection string using the value of our password variable. To accomplish this, we'll use Octopus's variable syntax, which is the variable name surrounded by a hash and two curly braces. Now when users look at this project, they won't be able to see the database password, but they'll be able to look at the connection string itself to make sure it's in the correct format. Let's go ahead and expand on this a little bit. We have a different database name for each of our environments. Instead of having a separate connection string variable for each database name, let's break that part out and reference it as well. We'll create our variable for the database name and then add the values for the three different environments with the correct scoping for each one. Once we do that, we can head back to our connection string variable and reference our new database name variable using the same syntax that we use for our password. Now we have our single connection string variable which is made up of references to other variables. Let's use it in our deployment process. For this video, we're going to output the value of the connection string variable to the task log. We'll navigate to our script and add the correct command. Let's create a new release and deploy it to our three environments. You can see that with the variable references, Octopus is displaying the correct value based on which stage of our lifecycle we're deploying to. Now it's your turn to try out variable substitution in your deployment process. Here are some recommendations to keep in mind as you do that in your own instance. Use reference variables when appropriate. There isn't a limit to the number of references a variable can have, and splitting them out into simpler pieces helps reduce complexity and makes debugging easier. And lastly, use reference variables to make your projects more secure. As you saw in this video, you can reference a secure variable from a non-secure one, keeping sensitive values hidden. Well, that's the basics of referencing variables in Octopus Deploy. Be sure to check out our other Getting Started videos, and thanks for watching. Happy deployments!